Hello and welcome back to the Profunctionist channel. If you are a regular viewer of this channel, you'll know that last week I was a bit ill and had to put out a, essentially a filler video, which I hope you enjoyed. Uh, it wasn't normal content, but I wanted to try and keep to my uh, to my upload schedule. I'm still feeling a little bit rough, but um, well enough to do this video. So let's let's crack on with it. So what, what are we looking at today? Well, I got a comment. Uh, on a previous video, on my uh, video on the Marshall JCM800 on the Helix, uh, and someone was asking uh, basically about having two amps in one preset. Uh, it made me think of a couple of things. It made me think of, of uh, amps where you're switching between the clean and the dirty channel, which I'll get into in, in a moment. Uh, so I thought I'd talk about that today. So the thing to remember about having multiple amps on a, on a bank, on your preset. Uh, on the Helix, first of all, you can do it, but it does take up a lot of DSP. So maybe in a future version of the Helix, you know, the Helix version two, maybe they'll put more DSP and you can have 10 different amps at the same time if you really want. But at the moment, yes, you can have, in this case, two amps at the same time. Uh, and the the person asking the question was asking about switching between them, which you can do. It will limit the amount of effects you're able to have, but we can uh, we can deal with that as and when. Uh, let's let's do this. I've decided to, to do this from scratch. So so if you look at the screen here, I've got a new preset. We're going to start this from scratch, uh, so I can get to show you how I build a preset as well. So I'm going to move the cursor all the way to this end of the first line. Click on that, and I'm going to connect it to path two. So it's now using both lines of DSP. Otherwise, it will just have those as separate lines uh, which have a limited amount of DSP. You can join them together as one line with more DSP, which sometimes you might want to do if you want to have two completely separate uh, signal paths, and you can do that. I generally will join them together, so it depends on what you want to do. Uh, I'm also going to add a reverb at the end, towards the end. And I'm just going to put a bog standard... Um, what I've been doing recently, just a bog standard uh, oh, room delay, uh, room reverb, which if you've seen some of the other videos, I've kind of fallen in love with. 34% should be enough. So this is the completely dry signal, no, nothing, no amp or anything, with a bit of reverb. Even that sounds all right, actually. All right, so let's add a couple of amps. Let's add... So I'm gonna I'm gonna go for an amp which has two channels. Uh, so they've got the Mesa Boogie Mark IV on here, which I'm gonna use as, as an example. You can use whatever amps you want. If you wanted to blend two amps together, then you can do that. If you wanted to, I'm gonna do where you're switching between two amps, you know, two virtual amps, two models of amps. So actually, I will start with. Okay, so these are the Mesa Boogie ones. We Cali lead. Uh, Kelly 4 lead is the Mark IV, the, the uh, distortion channel. So let's go Rhythm 1 as our clean channel. Let's add the other one as well. So Kelly lead, Kelly 4 lead. Okay, so currently they're both on and the reverb. So I can add a cab. All right, so I've done, I've done it this way in case I wanted to change the cab later on. Plus also, I'm not sure if it takes up less processing power having one cab as opposed to a cab on each of these if you just go for the amp and cab combo. So at the moment, sounds a bit horrible. That's the lead and uh, the dirty channel at the same time. So we want to we want to be able to switch between these two. So we're gonna start off not using snapshots. We'll get to that in a moment. So let's go to uh, stomp box mode. So what I'm gonna do in this first position here I'm going to assign the clean to this all I'm, all I'm going to do is just touch this ask me if I want to assign it yes I do cool so now that is um, now the clean channel is is assigned to this button here I could assign the dirty channel to this one here but if I want to have loads of effects which I may not be able to be able to do anyway because there may not be enough DFP I want to I want to assign the dirty channel to this one as well. And if I just touch it again, just assign both of them. It will ask me if I want to assign it. Yes, I do. And now it says multiple here. 
Okay, so if I go to, say, the off position, it's turned both of them off, turn both of them on. If I go to that one off, go back to the clean one, turn that on, so I can click bypass, switch it on. That should just be the clean channel now. And if I press the multiple, I think it should have both of them on. Oh, no, it doesn't. So now this has essentially become a foot switch for the amp. So I'm switching between the clean and the dirty channels. So you might also find, this is something that bothered me for a little bit. Let's do this. So if I, if I, so at the moment the light is off, but that, that's my uh, dirty channel. If I click that, the light comes on and it's my clean channel. Now if, you've, if you're picky, you might want to have your clean channel without the light and your dirty channel with the light. And this, this bothered me for a while, so I didn't have to do this. So what you do is essentially just touch that and then it goes away. So that's clean without the light. That's dirty with the light. So that's how to do like a, have an amp switching button, just have, having one amp switching button on the helix and so now I've only, I've only used one of the of the buttons that we have available to us you could as i said earlier on you could put the clean channel on one button and the uh, dirty channel on another um if you wanted to do that you can i like to reserve these for i like to reserve the rest of the buttons for effects but if we were going to do this with uh, presets because i think the uh the comment mentioned something about presets let's have a look at the comment again can you route two different amp in one preset and use snapshot to control which amp? So to answer the question, yes, you can. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute, but you don't need to use snapshots to do that. But let's, let's do snapshots. Uh, all right. So let's go to snapshot mode. So snapshot one, so whichever snapshot you want to adjust, you click on. So if you have snapshot one, by the way, you can't really necessarily switch the amps with snapshots in the same way that you could in the previous version that I just showed you. You have to kind of, each snapshot is its own sound. So you can't press one and then toggle between two different sounds with the same snapshot. You have to pick an, another snapshot. All right, so snapshot one is currently, that's the dirty channel. Let's say I want to have a clean sound. So I'm on snapshot one, I'll turn that off. I'll turn that one off and I want to turn this one on. Okay, so that's my that's my snapshot one is, is uh, currently clean. I can change the name of that. How do I do that again? Rename snapshot. I'll do this quickly. I'll fast forward through this so that you don't have to see it all. All right, so there's my clean snapshot. Snapshot two. We want to change that to the dirty channel. So there's a clean amp. We want to turn that off. We want to turn the dirty channel on. All right, let's name that as well. So I've called it dirty channel. So clean channel, dirty channel. If I want to, so where this is where can snapshots be useful here? So what I might want to do is I want to have between clean and dirty, I might want to have something a bit dirtier than clean. So I might want to move this dirty snapshot to here, which you can do by doing this. Take two fingers, hold these, touch these two. You want to swap them? Yes, you do. So now snapshot three is here. Doesn't really matter. The name is just snapshot three here. And I might want to take my clean channel. So let's go to clean again. Let's go back home. Uh, I want to turn that one off. Let's bypass that. So clean. I haven't changed any of the settings yet, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this a slightly dirtier, more driven, clean sound. So the way we want to do this, so if you might think, if you've never used snapshots before, you might think if I change this, if I change the, the drive or the bass, it's going to change it on the clean sound. That's true. It will. But so what you do on the uh, 
with snapshots is for drive, you hold it down first and then start turning it. And then it turns white and you get these square brackets that go around it, which means that that is the setting for this snapshot and it will be different for different snapshots. So if I turn the drive up there, for example, compared to the completely clean channel, Notice how it says here 5.4. Remember, we haven't changed anything in the clean channel, uh, but it still has the white uh, numbers and the square brackets because we did it in, in this snapshot here. So it's currently on clean. It's five, drive is 5.4 in this snapshot here, 7.1. Maybe I want to bring the presence down. Maybe the treble. Actually, the treble sounds sounds all right. I think maybe a bit more drive. Once you've pressed it down, by the way, once you've set the uh, once you've established that it's a snapshot uh, enabled parameter, you don't need to press down anymore. You can just keep. You can turn it as normal. There we go. Clean. Slightly pushed. And then dirty. So we haven't used any effects here. We've just, we've just got the two amps. I've just added a bit of reverb just because it sounds a bit nicer. Uh, and, and yeah, obviously the speaker cab, which we're going to keep the same. We haven't changed any settings on that as well. You can change um, the settings on your, on your cab with snapshots as well. So let's just tidy this up a little bit. Label this one. So where what I've done is I've recreated taking an amp which has multiple channels, in this case two channels, and I've allowed to be to switch between them. So in the first version, just using the one button here to switch between there's my clean sound. There's my dirty sound. If you're doing the snapshots, I've got a clean channel, I've got my dirty channel, and I've got a slightly pushed channel. So the snapshots allow you to do the amp switching, not in the same way as pressing a foot switch on your on the foot switch on your amp, but it also allows you to change the settings on your amp as well. So if you wanted the clean sound. You can get that. If you wanted to take the same clean sound and push it a bit, turn the gain up a bit, you can do that. And then you can switch to your dirty channel. If I wanted to go one step further and create a lead channel, let's do that. So, snapshot four, how convenient. Let's go to that. There is our solo, there's our, there's our dirty channel. 
if you want to make it more of a solo channel, so a solo snapshot, and let me let me label it first actually. <laughs> All right, so there's our solo. It's not set yet. It's the, it's the same as the Dirty channel at the moment, but we want to turn this into a solo channel. Here's our Dirty channel. Here's our solo channel. Exactly the same. All right, so what do we want to do? We want to maybe turn the volume up. So let's go to channel volume, or we can even do it through the master because that will add a bit of gain to it as well. So I'm going to push this in and turn it up. So it wasn't four, let's go up to, let's try six. So that's already louder. Maybe a bit too loud. So obviously this will be up to you how you want to set this, but I'm just gonna just go with what usually what we usually need to set. Let's go back to this page. So drive is actually okay, I think. I might turn that up if I need to. Maybe turn the mids up a bit. So I'm gonna push in. Push those mids a bit more. So maybe on my dirty channel, I want less drive. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn the drive down. So it's more of a crunch sound. There we go. So we've got essentially a whole setup for a, for an amp. So for a lot of purists who don't really maybe maybe don't want to use too many effects, but may be intrigued by the modeling world, this is a way for you to possibly get you'll have your cake and eat it as as our American brothers and sisters would say. So we've got our Mesa Boogie Mark IV model. We've got a clean channel. Let's play these. Our slightly pushed clean channel. We're going to switch channels to our dirty channel. And our solo channel. Oh, helps to press it, doesn't it? And as I said, I've got a bit of reverb there. You can add delay, chorus, compression to all of these. So as I've said in previous videos, which you may or may not have seen, I like to have, generally we'll like to have the presets, sorry, the snapshots along the bottom and along the top I'll have a, a variety of pedals, which you can have eight altogether. You just switch between the two modes, between previously snapshot mode and stomp box mode. But that is how to do channel switching on the Helix. Some amps I think will have, will take more DSP than others. Uh, if you are having more than one amp, it's, yeah, it's gonna take more DSP, so you're, pro you're probably going to have fewer options for pedals and effects. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. Maybe in a future generation of, of the Helix, maybe they can fix that. I think all they need to do really is add more DSP because the functionality is great even after the few years that it's been 
available. Uh, is there anything else I need to mention on this? I'm not sure if I've missed anything out. Or if there's anything else you'd like to know, let me know in the comments below. Uh, it looks like we're back to normal programming. I'm still feeling a little bit rough, but I think I'm on the mend now. So if you like this video, if you found any use in it, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Uh, please consider subscribing. I'm still trying to reach my first 1,000 subscribers and get myself monetized. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think below and I will see you in the next video.